Welcome to the fourth video of the Soccer Toa series, whereby we're looking at the three trig functions of a right angle triangle. Today's video is focusing on the tangent function. So a quick recap of video three, and I'd encourage you to watch this if you haven't done so already. In video three, we were looking at the cosine relationship between the angle and the adjacent and hypotenuse side lengths. Here's the right angle triangle we're looking at, whereby we have hypotenuse, the large diagonal length, the adjacent, which is next to the angle, and of course, theta, the angle. Our three variations of the equations that are available for our cosine function, and some sample questions that we tried as well. So today we're moving on to our final, our third and final trig rule, that of the tangent function. Tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite length divided by the adjacent length. So as always, this requires an angle and two side lengths. So here's our right angle triangle. We're interested in the opposite side length and the adjacent side length, shown here in green and purple. So let's do a little bit of manipulation so that we can find equations that have the ability to calculate the opposite side length, the adjacent side length, and the angle theta. So first of all, let's multiply both sides of this equation by the adjacent side length. And in doing so on the right hand side, we have now the opposite side length divided by the adjacent side length multiplied by the adjacent side length. If we divide and multiply by the same value, they'll simply cancel out and leave us with the adjacent side length times the tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite side length. And we can write this here with the opposite being the subject. The opposite side length is equal to the adjacent side length multiplied by the tan of the angle theta. That's our first equation if we want to calculate the unknown opposite side length. Next, if we take that starting point and now divide both sides by tan of theta, on the left hand side we have adjacent side length times tan theta divided by tan theta. The times and divide tan theta cancel out and leave me with the adjacent side length is equal to the opposite side length divided by the tangent of the angle theta. That's our second equation that allows us to calculate the unknown adjacent side length. Finally, let's try and get an equation that allows us to calculate the angle theta. So here's our starting point. Now to get rid of the tan function here, we can use the inverse tan. So the inverse tan of tan, they will cancel out. The reverse function of tan is the inverse tan. They cancel each other out and we're left with the angle theta is equal to inverse tan of the opposite side length over the adjacent side length. So that's our third and final equation that allows us to work out an unknown angle based upon the opposite and adjacent side lengths. Quick summary, this is our equation to find the opposite side length. This is our equation to find the adjacent side length. And this is our equation to work out the angle, all of which are to do with the tan function. Let's look at an example of each. So here we have an example of an unknown opposite side length, a known adjacent side length, and an angle. Here we have an example of a known opposite side length, an unknown adjacent side length, and an angle. And finally, a known opposite length, a known tangent length, and an unknown angle. Let's look at each of these three examples. The opposite side here, x, is the unknown. That's the question mark. The adjacent length of eight meters, we can record that. And the angle theta is 30 degrees. That's recorded as well. Which one of these three equations allows us to work out the opposite side length? Of course, it's the top one. The opposite length is equal to the adjacent length times the tangent of the angle theta. Select that equation and let's enter our values in. So opposite is equal to 8 meters for the adjacent, 8 goes in, and the angle is 30 degrees. So our opposite side length is 8 times the tan of 30. Let's calculate this in our TI calculator. 8 times tan of 30 gives me a value of 8 root 3 over 3, that looks really complex as a third or an exact value. However, when we convert that, we get a decimal of 4.62. So we can conclude the unknown opposite side length for the above triangle is 4.62 meters. Let's move on to example 2. Here we have the adjacent side length as the unknown. We have the opposite side length as 5 meters. And we have the angle as a known 45 degree. Which one of these three equations allows us to work out the adjacent side length? It is this one. Adjacent equals opposite side length over the tangent of the angle theta. Let's write that equation down and substitute in our values. Adjacent equals, for opposite we have five meters and for the angle we have 45 degrees. Let's now place this in the TI calculator to find our solution. 
Let's use our fraction button, the numerator denominator. And on the top, we'll have 5. And on the bottom, we have 10 of 45. Press Enter. And the side length, the unknown side length, is 5 meters. So to conclude, we can say the unknown adjacent side length for the above triangle is 5 meters. A third and final example. It asks us to calculate the unknown angle for these two side lengths. So we have the opposite side length of 8 meters. We have the adjacent side length of 2 meters. And we want to find out the angle theta. Our third and final equation here allows us to calculate the angle theta. So we'll select this one. We'll write it down. Now, to fill in our variables, substitute in the opposite is 8 meters, the adjacent is 2 meters. So to find the unknown angle theta, we take the inverse tan of 8 on 2, which is effectively the inverse tan of 4. Let's try that on our TI calculator. For this calculation, we're looking for the inverse tan. So this is tan above it, there's the inverse tan, it's the second function. So second function button tan gives me the inverse tan, and the fraction we're after is 8 over 2. gives me a value of 75.96, effectively 76 degrees. So we found the unknown angle for the above triangle to be 76 degrees. Thank you so much for watching this video on the tangent function. Hope it's been useful in terms of understanding how a tangent function works for the right angle triangle, how it's used to calculate the unknown side lengths, and also how it's used to calculate an angle theta. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.